All right, let's go over um, what's called a liquidity grab or this is the NQ trading this morning. I want to go over when this setup occurs. So we all know what a failure trade is. We've done several videos on this. A failure trade is against zone trend. So we have red zone and we have green zones. Red zones, we're looking to short. Green zones, we're looking to buy. Very simple. So with trend, we're looking for slingshot trades, Momo trades, and first wave trades. Against trends, we're looking for this trade. We're looking for a possible momentum trade. I mean, not momentum, but a failure trade where the large oscillator gets above our 65, small oscillator stays above bull 40, the arrow automatically prints, and you get that move up. For sell failure trade, we're looking for the large oscillator to get below 40, small oscillator stay below the bear of 65 for the short. So that's a failure short. Failure short into a slingshot long. Failure long into a slingshot buy. But what happens when this occurs? Now this happens a lot. We went over this last week. What happens when you get a failure that rolls right into a slingshot? This is what's called a liquidity grab or I'm going to call it a trap trade. What happens is this is natural order flow that creates a possible explosion in price. Why? If you see a failure come up, meaning an arrow against trend that comes up, and immediately we go right into a slingshot long, you're looking for the market to possibly move higher in a very quick fashion. Why? Because it's called a liquidity grab. What happens is, is if the failure comes down and rolls right into a long slingshot, that means all these resting buy stops that are above the failure are going to get hit, and you'll see an acceleration in price. This could be a very explosive by nature trade. So when you see it happen, this is why it works so well. You get a failure that comes up, arrow prints. A lower low comes in while the zone is still green, meaning a failure is against trend, the arrow prints. Immediately, you see a green arrow that prints. This is a slingshot because we got above my bear of 65. That's how I have it programmed. What happens is, is they grab liquidity sitting a lower low. Once this high is broken, all these resting buy stops will be hit and you'll see a squeeze in the market. And then you'll see a possible major acceleration in price. This happens a lot during, I mean, on the NQ because it's so volatile. It, ha it does happen on the S&P, does happen on the crude oil. We had some this week on both of those. It's in the room. But this is a beautiful setup. Let's say that you're a trader and say, hey, I don't like to take failure counter trend trade because a failure is a counter. You know, that's when you're going against trend. You're trying to go against trend to catch an early move against the zone. Let's say you just want to wait for those arrows to fire a failure and wait for a slingshot or trap trades. And those are a trend. Well, a trap trade is when, like I said, you get a failure right into a slingshot. This automatically prints. And then you see a nice acceleration in price. All right. Here it is again. You get a failure, right? You get set a lower low, and then price shot out of this high, and look at that squeeze. You see the price just accelerate to the upside. What I'm saying is, is you can cherry pick when there's a possible squeeze in the market. Because what you're doing is you're allowing the failure to set it up as long as we don't have a trend change and that arrow fires a slingshot after a failure, you have a possible acceleration in price to the upside. 
So I'm going to call it a, this is a, what it is, the technical term would be a liquidity grab. They're grabbing liquidity for the push. We'll call it a trap trade in the room. That is a trap when they're grabbing liquidity for a major push in the market. So it's real nice when you see a trap trade happen. Here's a trap trade. Because look at the acceleration in price you get. Because what happens here is you get a failure trade that rolled right into a slingshot. Why? Because they're grabbing liquidity. This set a higher high. And then right when the low broke, guess what's resting below it? All these sell stops. So it's a squeeze. And they're going to squeeze all the sell stops. And you're going to see a possible big acceleration in price. It's a real neat way to capture possible major swings in the market by cherry picking your trades. Let's see if I can find another one. But like I said, the NQ, they happen a lot. If you wanted to just uh, watch for these on the NQ, here's a trap trade. Market just takes off. Find a few more in this video. They're neat when they come up. They're real neat when they come up. A trap trade sell. So you see what I'm talking about. Here's a trap trade sell. Sets a higher high. Then right into the slingshot. Get a nice little push to the downside. So when you see those, you guys can uh, type in the room. Trap trade, or uh, that's my nickname for it. It, all it is is a liquidity grab. Just knowing how order flow works. Here's a big trap set up. I marked up when it happened when I was in the room. I think I sent this out to you. The NQ fired a trap set up where a failure fires, never breaks the lower zone, then fires a slingshot. This traps the shorts, and the squeeze begins. Look at this price action. All right. So that is called a trap trade liquidity grab for all you guys that want that trade these markets that want to understand. Now today we just had we've had a this morning at 726 we've had there's slingshot, 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 no trap trades. But if you see a trap trade, just get ready for a runner, a possible runner. You may have a nice little move to the upside or downside on the NQ and the other markets. So be aware, like I said, crude oil starting off nice this morning. It's already came up with a, at 747, came up with a slingshot. Small slater got below 20, above my bear of 65. The highest bar was 96. It's already up to 44. Almost 50 ticks of potential on crude oil. And we're just starting the trading day off. I anticipate crude oil. If I see this getting nice action like this, it's only 8.38 this morning. And this fired at 7.47. If I see this before the pit opens, it means we're going to have a pretty decent day at crude oil. So watch for these signals on crude. We could have a pretty decent price action all the way to around 1 o'clock this afternoon on crude oil. So heads up on that. And then if you look at the S&P, We've had yesterday, right there, we've had a slingshot, the fire, slingshot, failure, slingshot, slingshot, failure, and then this morning is, we had a slingshot, and then we just had one that came up here just a second ago at 8.02 this morning. We're into a failure long right now.